friends, thanks so much for joining me today and for coming and hanging out. Welcome to Emmas Day 2. This is my version of Vlogmas. Um, I've tried to come up with a clever name and Emmas was the only thing I could really think of. I've heard a merry, <laughs> like a merry Christmas. I was seeing an MTVD, but that was a little bit much of a stretch for me. So Emmas it is. By the way, do you like my Star Wars shirt? I feel very nerdy with this. <laughs> Alright, well in today's video I am excited to share a lot of really great products with you that are all under $10 that would make excellent stocking stuffers. Most of them are beauty related but there might be a couple of things that are fun and unrelated but nonetheless they are fun and I would be excited to get them in my stocking just saying. Anyway so if that sounds interesting to you stay tuned and if you are new here welcome. As I said before, hi! My name is Em, and you're watching Makeup Brie. <laughs> okay, I have two cats sitting on my bed, and there's a car going by, and they're kind of wrestling around, and they both look up, and <laughs> they pause, and the one cat's got her feet and the other one's chin like this, and they both just stopped mid wrestling. <laughs> It's just super cute. My cats are goobers. Anyway, <laughs> I get a kick. It's late. It's very, very late. And uh, after this, I'm going to be washing my face and I'm going to brush my teeth and I'm going to go to bed. I just said that in a really weird way. These gifts, as I said before, are all under $10, so they won't necessarily break the bank if you're looking for some cute little ideas to get you going. You can get them at the drugstore, you can get them at Ulta, you can get them on Amazon, which, you know, with the fast prime shipping will save you a lot of time, and plus you don't have to go out to get things. Hey, you get out of there! Booters! Anyway, you can get some of these items at Sephora, you can get a lot of these things at Ulta, the drugstore, Amazon, let's see, I have some stuff like Walmart, Target, that kind of thing. Alright, let's get into it. So I'm going to break this up by makeup and beauty and like skincare, spa, bath, body, that sort of stuff, and then some funky little random items at the end that are not quite related to those. By the way, because this is a miss, so stay tuned because I will be announcing a giveaway sometime in this video, uh, and it's going to be kind of fun. So you'll want to you'll want to watch and participate, and you'll have to be a subscriber too. But anyway, we'll we'll get to that later. <laughs> I sound like a little torpy twit kind of person there. <laughs> the first thing that is makeup related are makeup remover wipes. My favorite ones are these Neutrogena ones. I don't get the sensitive skin one because because for whatever reason, my sensitive skin doesn't like them, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But I like the original one. I do rinse off after I get done using it because I don't like how this feels on the skin afterwards. You're not really supposed to use makeup wipes and just let it sit on your skin. You're meant to rinse your face off. They're $5.00 give or take a, maybe a dollar or two depending on where you get them but you can get them at Ulta, you can get them at the drugstore, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Target, you can get them online, you can get them on Amazon. They're everywhere. So Neutrogena makeup wipes. I think these are so great. Along those same lines is a makeup remover erase stick. Uh, they call it a makeup remover eraser stick and it's also by Neutrogena. See it's kind of this weird looking contraption. It's like a little gel pen and you can basically smudge it against your skin. I don't know exactly how this works against like liquid lipsticks but this is really great if you have like lipstick that goes out of the lines and you want to fix it. Um, I've had like concealer pencils that work well but I like the idea of being able to remove makeup. If you got a little boo-boo, Nutrigrain, Nutrigrain, wow, Neutrogena's got your back. And this is $10 at the drugstore. The next one is kind of fun. I actually talked about this in yesterday's video in the mega beauty related gift guide. If you haven't checked that out, that'll be linked below and up in the card. Um, but lip smackers are Bonnie Bell lip balms. They're so fun because they come in a plethora of different flavors and scents and all that stuff. Plus it just brings you back to childhood because everyone likes to feel like a kid at some point. My favorite one is the Dr. Pepper. I never used to like Dr. Pepper growing up, but I liked the Dr. Pepper lip balm. I was always like a Mountain Dew Sprite kind of girl, and then now I don't really like Mountain Dew or Sprite. Now I'm a Dr. Pepper fan all the way. I love me a good Cherry Coke Zero, 
and I love Diet Dr. Pepper. I know they're both not good for me, that's why I try not to drink them too often, but here's a good way to satiate those cravings for Dr. Pepper. Ha ha, no caffeine and no sugar and no aspartame. <laughs> These are $1.99, but you can also get larger sets. They range anywhere between $2 and $10 to $12, depending on how many you get. But I think that is such a fun little thing to add to a stocking. The next item is from Maybelline, and these are my ride or die, all time favorite, will not ever not buy them kind of liquid lipsticks. Before you freak out and say, hey, um, I don't like liquid lipsticks. These ones are a little bit different. There's some liquid lipsticks that I'll put on. They kind of crumble in different areas, especially if you're eating. These don't do that. And they're mask proof. Yep, you heard me. They are mask proof. I was able to wear one the other day all day long with a mask on and there were no smudges. These babies stay in place. They are the Super Stay Matte Inks. Um, some people don't like the texture of these and they're a little sticky, but if you buy one of those like clear balms, it won't take them off. Or if that doesn't bother you, then you would like these too. The two colors I would recommend, this one is called Lover. It's a nice berry, rosy berry shade. This would look amazing on any skin tone, deep to like the lightest of light. Obviously it will be darker and brighter on lighter skin tones, but this would be really pretty on a deeper skin tone gal or guy too. And then this one, um, this one is called Poet. It is a peachy nude. Now on me, it's a little light, but I like to apply a lip gloss over the top that's just a little bit more pink. That way it adds a little bit more life to the color and it doesn't, you know, wash me out. I think this is such a lovely kind of base to wear. One thing I like about these as well is that you can just blot them on a little bit. If you don't want a lot of color, you can blot these on and it'll work just as well. So these are $9 each, but sometimes you can get like a buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one free kind of deal at the drugstore. But hands down, I've loved these for years. And I cannot recommend them enough. And this would make an excellent stocking stuffer. I have almost all the colors, so Stephanie, my sister, Stephanie, if you're watching, please don't get me anymore. Uh, I have too many now. Okay, this one's a newer favorite, and I don't know where it's been my whole life because I have tried so many different mascaras, and nothing compares to this and its price, and it is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. They have quite a few different formulas with different brushes. The one that I am using is the False Lash Effect. I would like to say I'm wearing it today, but I'm not. I'm trying to use up another mascara that I have, but I ended up just kind of adding a little bit of this over the top to try to, yeah, try to comb through the lashes because I love the wand on this. It's just a classic kind of wand and yeah, I don't know. There's just something about the Lash Princess mascaras from Essence. They're amazing. I don't know why I didn't try them sooner. But they're only $6. You can get them at Ulta. You can get them at Kroger, I believe. Kroger, Fred Meyers, those types of stores. I think you can get them at Walmart. I can't remember off the top of my head. $6 mascara? Yes, please. The next item is something I don't have, but if you're looking for a gift for someone who likes makeup sponges, then I would highly recommend the Real Techniques one. It is $5. You can find it at Ulta. One thing about Real Techniques is that their quality is insanely good for an amazing affordable price. It goes without saying that when quality is good you don't need to spend exorbitant amounts of money to get that quality. Uh, the Beauty Blender for example is $18 the last time I checked. The Real Techniques sponge and anything from Real Techniques rivals that but for a way more affordable price. So that would be an awesome stocking stuffer as well especially if you have a makeup enthusiast in the household or a friend that you're planning to buy that for. This next one will probably be on a lot of people's lists so if you see it and you're like hey um, that's not very unique. Yes I know but I have to mention it anyway because they are truly amazing and at this price you could get two and have enough for a nice lip gloss or something too. They are the e.l.f. Bite Size Quads. Um, I have all of them. All of them. There are eight of them. So um, I was planning, and I haven't done it yet, but let me know if you'd be interested in this video. But I've been planning to do a color story challenge using every single Bite Size e.l.f. palette where I do a look with every single palette and put it in one single video. 
that would be a lot of work, but I would be so willing to put my eyes through that if you're interested. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. But going back to the whole stocking stuffer thing. Oh, I have a cat hair or something on my nose. Okay. <laughs> I'm not having a seizure, I promise. <laughs> they have something for everyone. They've got berries, they've got roses, they've got coppers, they've got more neutral tones, they got purples, they've got smoky, sultry colors, they've got green, and then they've got like a, a neutral blue twist. I mean, I, if they come out with more of these, I think I'll be doomed because <laughs> I have so many. I haven't used all of them yet, but they are really good quality. You know, so many people here on YouTube rave about them, and there's a good reason. It's because they truly are amazing. Another eyeshadow palette and brand that's worth mentioning is Juvia's Place. The Juvia's Place is a black owned beauty brand and I absolutely adore their eyeshadows. It's a really great formula for a really inexpensive price and believe it or not they actually do have a palette that's $10. It is the mini Nubian palette. It is a six pan palette of neutral shades. This would be great for someone who's new to makeup or wears a lot of neutral shades and isn't really into colorful stuff. Maybe they can't go like full beat, full glam at work, this would be a great option for them. And you're supporting a black owned beauty brand. And again, it's only $10. You can get it at Ulta. Yeah, I adore their their eyeshadows. They're really great. Next up is an awesome find. I found this at Target like two, three months ago. And ever since then, I've been obsessed. Like, I don't ever want to buy full sizes ever again, but you know, whatever. This is a Physician's Formula Trio. It has their butter highlighter, their Muru Muru <laughs> butter blush, say that three times fast, and then their butter bronzer. I like that it comes with the three products for $10. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cocoa butter. Mm. I love that Physician's Formula came out with a small palette that has three of their products in here. They're best sellers for a reason. They're very buttery, which, you know, is the name of the, of the product, obviously. Hello, I'm stating the obvious. So the highlighter definitely could work for someone who is deeper skin tone because it is very shimmering and it has this nice golden shade to it. But with the bronzer and the blush, I don't think that they would suit deeper skin tones unfortunately but this would make a really great gift if you have someone who's lighter skin toned. Now I personally don't wear false lashes that often. When I do it's usually for a special occasion but one of my favorite kinds of lashes to apply are individuals. They're easy, you can use as few of them as you like or you can use as many of them as you like. They're easier to apply than a full band or full strip of lashes. If you only want two or three on the outer edge, go for it. If you accidentally pulled out some lashes because you had a bad eyelash curler, true story, that has happened to me before, then these are a great um, option for that too. The ones that I'm talking about are the Ardell individual lashes. They are $5, you can get them at the drugstore. They're just really great to kind of glam up a makeup look without having to go through the whole rigmarole of getting a full band of lashes on because we all know that it can be a struggle sometimes. If you're someone like me who doesn't generally like wearing false lashes because they feel heavy on your eyes, you can get away with just a few lashes and it's easy. Dip it in the glue and stick it. Next up, I thought I had mine on my desk but I, I don't know where it is. It's probably somewhere buried in my purse downstairs. But I absolutely love these Burt's Bees lip balms. I have a couple of them. I have one in cucumber mint. I have just their standard minty one. I think I also have the mango one floating around. I don't remember. The mango one smells amazing. I also love the cucumber one. But they're just really hydrating. They have a nice feel to the lips. They last for on me anyway for a while. And I can wear them under a mask to help prevent my lips from drying out. I have to say though that Wearing a mask has kind of saved my face in some ways. Now, obviously mask knee is a thing, but I have to say, I love that my mask keeps my face warm in this cold weather. Anyone else? <laughs> I mean, 
you gotta see the positives in them, right? And that's a positive, I guess. I don't know. So you can find individuals for about $4, or you can sometimes find a pack of three or four for maybe $10, $11, give or take, depending on where you're located. But these are awesome. I love Burst Bees. They make some great products. Another product that I think is really awesome, I keep saying awesome. It's like I'm stuck in the 80s or something. <laughs> Uh, another great product <laughs> that I think that a lot of people would get enjoyment out of, especially if they like liquid eyeshadows or something that's really easy, quick to apply. Uh, Sephora has the sheer liquid eyeshadows, and the one that I would recommend is called Topaz, and it is a peach tone, and it's something that would look really pretty on any skin tone, be it light to even the deepest of deep, because it has that tone where it will be light and bright on a deeper skin tone, but it will be like a perfect, almost mid-tone. It won't show up as too dark on someone who has light or fair complected skin. It will look natural during the daytime. So this is just a good kind of neutral tone that would work for a lot of people. And you can get it for $10 at Sephora. So I actually use this particular product and product in a video where I was duping the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette and I bought it because I liked the color. I wasn't sure about the formula because I had never tried it before and I fell in love. This is the Rimmel London Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 liner and shadow. Yes. So it comes with your typical liner tip but you can put it all over your lid and blend it out and it will dry to a, like a powder finish. I haven't tried it as an eyeshadow, but I think it's kind of innovative to have a product that does that. Plus you can use it as a liner. I've only used it as a liner and it is bold. Sometimes with drugstore eyeliners, especially if they come in different colors, like this one's a deep purple. Sometimes it can get really dry and crusty or it's just not very opaque. This one packs a punch. It is really pretty. This one is called Cool AF and it retails for about six or seven dollars give or take and you can find it at pretty much any drugstore that sells Rimmel near you. This one is a fun find. If you know someone who likes a lot of color then these might be for them. They are from LA Girl and they're two dollars a piece and they have these beautiful neon shades. You might be a little hesitant, not because the colors aren't pretty, but you're wondering, okay, do they actually work? Are they nice? Are they creamy? Are they cheap feeling? Be honest, um, do they actually work? Yes, they do. I'm actually wearing this one today. Now, it's not gonna be as bright because of the way I applied it, but these are really creamy, really smooth. I really like them. The first time I ever tried them was with this bright sky blue shade and look at that it is bold and it's beautiful I have an orange one which I think isn't uh, this one's kind of a pinky coral I think this might actually be a lip liner but hey whatever they've got this robin's egg blue I mean look how creamy it is I'm gonna do it again just like that yep you can get these at Ulta and they're only two dollars each again super pretty super affordable very fun. All right, this is the last makeup item, although it's not quite makeup, but it works to organize your makeup. I found this on Amazon, and I thought this was such a great idea for someone who has a minimal makeup collection, and it is this acrylic palette storage. Now, acrylic storage can be really expensive. I was pleasantly surprised to see that this was only $7. This is great for someone who wants to put their eyeshadow palettes on display, or maybe they just don't have a really good place to put them, and they don't have a, an obscene amount of palettes like I do. It may not fit in a stocking necessarily, but if it's the $10 or less price point. So unless, maybe you can just get a giant stocking that's like this big and it'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, I'll have that linked below on Amazon where you can find it. Oh, I guess there is one more thing that's kind of makeup be related and it is this makeup bag. This is from a brand called Ruby and Cash and you can get these at Target for $5 each. They have so many different designs and this is the one that I really liked and it says positive energy if you couldn't tell. These are a really great size. I can fit my Arcana palette in here from Shroud. That's how big this is. And it's fairly large this way too. You can fit a lot of things in here. It's great for travel. And because of the texture, it's that faux pleather kind of texture. It'll be easy to wipe down and keep clean. I think these are super adorable. And for $5, you can get two for 10. Have one for yourself and one as a gift. I mean, because 
this is the season of giving and that means giving to yourself too. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to beauty items. So they're not necessarily makeup, but they are beauty. Things like nail care, face care, like skin care kind of stuff. Alright, so the first thing on this list are press-on nails. The ones that I am really enjoying are these Kiss Design Nails. They're limited edition and these are adorable. They are holiday inspired design. I plan to put these on in the next day or two because they're really cute. They have so many different designs. I think you can find them at Walmart. I found these at Target. Now it does depend on where you go because they might be 10 to 12 dollars i did get mine for 11 but i found them online for a little bit cheaper so that might be an option for you but either way it is a great stocking stuffer especially if you know someone who loves getting their nails done and with quarantine that's really not happening with businesses shutting down press on nails have made a huge comeback this year which is kind of funny i remember when i was a really young teen like maybe 13 or 14 i started wearing press on nails and i would like go around with them and i felt so fancy and everyone's like "Ooh, i like your nails and i'm like thanks they're from kiss or whoever <laughs> and they're all like huh like yeah i was i was ahead of my times apparently by like 17 years 17 18 years <laughs> I can't do math. I was almost like 20 years ahead of my time with that. Anyway, kind of in that same realm of things, nail polish. I haven't been wearing nail polish lately and I have so much. I just, I don't know. Ask me what's wrong with me and I will just say, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I do have some favorite formulas. There are some higher end brands that could have been on this list like Essie or OPI or some of those. But to be honest, some of my favorite formulas are from Sally Hansen. I like the Salon Complete formula. I think that is really great, especially if you need to do your nails in a hurry and you don't have time to wait for your nail polish to dry and your top coat to dry. That one kind of has it built in so you don't have to worry about the top coat. But if you don't even have time for that, then their Insta Dry formula is awesome. Now I chose this particular color. This one is called Rose Quartz and it is a beautiful rose gold color. I think this is universally flattering, especially if you know that someone doesn't like to wear really bold or bright colors. This one's just soft and pretty. And what's better is that these are only $4.50. So again, you can, pop, you can get two and uh, be good. Speaking of top coats, the one that I really like is this one from Essie. I had to throw mine out because it had been so long since I actually painted my nails. So it went bad. Sad. It's the gel setter one. It basically looks like you put on gel nail polish, but you didn't. Uh, and this one is $10. You can get it at the drugstore, and it works really well. I love that glossy texture, that shine that it gives. It's excellent. Great stocking stuffer, especially if you pick up a nail polish or two. Maybe you get something like this. These are nail art stickers. They're just fun. So, nail art stickers. This is from a brand called Olive and June. I got these at Target. These are $7.50 at Target and they're just fun. I like nail art stickers because it takes a lot of work out of doing your nails. You don't have to stamp it on, you don't have to paint it and smudge it. It's just a sticker. And if you don't like it, you can just peel it off, right? Um, these ones are stars. They have a couple other designs. You can also find some stuff at Target.com. But I think this is just a cute little thing. Another nail care item that I think a lot of people don't even think about is a cuticle oil. You're washing your hands. You're putting hand sanitizer on your hands. Your hands are dry. And your cuticles, I don't know about you, but mine always peel in the winter because it gets so dry. Cuticle oil treats that. A cuticle oil is your cuticle's best friend. There's this one here from Cuccio, I think that's how you say it. And it's a large bottle and you can get it on Amazon for $6. It's got a lot of really good reviews. I have this in my shopping cart. I haven't tried this particular one, but I was reading through a lot of the reviews and people love it. So I'm excited to try this out. I think the holidays are a great time to try out new brands and just say, hey, it's a Christmas gift. I'm getting it for someone else and or myself. And you try something that maybe you wouldn't have tried before and this cuticle oil just looks like it would be really nourishing and that's what a lot of people said so awesome gift right there moving on to some face items here first up are face masks one thing I really like doing is going to the store any store really and just kind of browsing through what individual masks that they have they have the sheet masks which you just kind of pop on they sometimes just sell like 
pouches that have just a little bit of product in them. You squeeze it out and rub it on your face. They have a ton of different kinds available. This is a brand that I absolutely adore. Uh, and this is Pacifica, and this one is the Stress Rehab. Now, for me, I was really intrigued to try this one because their little catchphrase on here is party then, rehab now. It's made with coconut and caffeine, which means it'll help like rejuvenate your skin, uh, any stressed out skin, especially, you know, with mask wearing. I imagine that faces are not happy. Uh, it also has turmeric and green tea, which will help with inflammation and swelling and redness. You wear it for 20 minutes and it's supposed to be life changing. Well, maybe not life changing, but it definitely gives new life to your skin. I love Pacifica products and I've tried some other masks and I've loved them. I haven't tried this one yet though, but I'm excited to. And you can pick up quite a few different masks too. It doesn't have to be this brand, but this one's $4. I got this at Target. Uh, you can get a lot of different masks at pretty much any drugstore, Walmart, Target, etc. I think they make fun stocking stuffers and if you are able to be with them on Christmas morning, then um, hello, do masks together. Or you can do it over a Zoom call and you can both laugh at each other for how silly you look wearing a sheet mask. <laughs> Next up is this Ultra Hydrating Face Serum. Uh, from The Ordinary and it is their 100% plant-based squalene. Squalene originally came from I think a sea creature. I don't recall. I think it was some sort of fish or something. I don't know. This is vegan so it doesn't it doesn't have any animal products in it whatsoever. But squalene is excellent for your skin. It's incredibly hydrating. So The Ordinary is one of those skincare brands that I find to be of really great quality but without that high skin price tag. You can get The Ordinary at Ulta and this is I think seven or eight dollars and I'm sad because in my notes I forgot to put the price down but almost all of the products I've ever come across from this brand are anywhere between six and nine dollars so it's in that range. It is definitely under that ten dollar mark but this would be great for someone who does have really uh, dry skin or just in general because squalene can be used by anybody. It doesn't have to be for dry skin only. Those with oily skin can use it and find some great benefits in it. So this would be a great little stocking stuffer as well and you kind of feel a little fancy giving them skincare that doesn't break the bank. So this next item is another must have for someone in the winter months. <laughs> this is the St. Ives uh, Lip Scrub Juicy Watermelon and it is just what it sounds like. It is a lip scrub. I haven't used St. Ives in so long but any lip scrub is a really good idea and this one is anywhere between five and six dollars. I found this at Target. It was on an end cap and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen St. Ives in a long time. Sometimes you get chapped lips that are healing and then you get that dry skin that just uh, looks ick. This helps with that. And then along with that, you can... <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a funky product. This one is a lip scrubber. So you can take a little bit of your lip scrub and then you can use this little fancy device here and use it to scrub your lips. I know, it sounds really weird. It looks like a really giant sized toothbrush without the bristles. It's got these little nubbies on them. I think this is silicone, so it's easy to clean. This one in particular, I got at Ulta. I think it was two, two or three dollars. Maybe a little bit more or less. So yeah, this is... Kind of a fun little gift that you could give and pair it with something like this, like a lip scrub. So this is available at Ulta and it's from the Sweet and Shimmer brand. Along with that, Ulta has special deals around the holidays and they have like these little tables or these little end caps or areas where you can find special deals for stocking stuffers. And the Sweet and Shimmer brand is one that they've featured this year for their like five for ten dollars kind of deal. So everything ends up being two dollars. It's a mix and match kind of thing. So I actually picked up five things for ten dollars so you could do the same and have some awesome stuff stocking stuffers that's <laughs> so hard to say as well so the first thing on that list is this moisturizing foot mask yep a foot mask in the winter months my feet get a little dry because my skin's drying out with the heat this i haven't tried this yet but it sounds really intriguing. This is in sparkling rosé this one is a moisturizing hand mask Yes. So for those of us whose hands are, you know, really dry from all the hand sanitizers and wa hand washing, this sounds like it would be an amazing little treat for the hands. And this is in toasted vanilla. Then, um, because under eyes are probably a little irritated from wearing a mask, you can put an, a little mask on. <laughs> and these are cooling gel under eye masks. 
So they're the little Nike swoosh looking things. And then these ones are kind of fun. Now not everybody has bathtubs. Some people have showers, but I find that you can still use bath bombs in the shower. You just have to make sure that they're under the running water. But the first one here is the sugar cookie bath fizzer. And then there's another bath fizzer like this, which is also toasted vanilla. And I love bath fizzers and bath bombs. I think they're so fun. I feel like anyone could appreciate some bath fizzers or some sort of bath items. Again, all five of these items were $10 at Ulta, so that might be something that you could pick up as well. And I'm sure the recipient of whoever receives these awesome little things would be very appreciative of the self-care. Talking about bath bombs has me going into the next category. The next category is bath and body, because that's always fun. We're gonna kick it off with exfoliating gloves. These are from Eco Tools. You put them on in the shower and you use them with some soap, uh, moisturizing soap, whatever, and it helps slough off any dead skin and just kind of brightens your skin up. And um, I have a pair of these in my shower. I love them. I also use them on my face kind of gently if I need to exfoliate my face in the shower. These are anywhere between four and five dollars. I got these at Target as well. As you can tell, I like my Target. Another item for dry hands is from Burt's Bees. They have this hand salve that comes in a little tin and it's an amazing product. It sells for eight dollars at Ulta, but I swear this stuff is so good. They also have this almond hand salve as well that I absolutely adore but you can't go wrong with either one they just I like the texture that they leave on the hands it's not too filmy it's not too oily it's just a really nice texture so if you're working from home and you're typing you don't have to worry about it getting your keyboard all greasy these are something that I would highly recommend sticking in a stocking for whoever washes their hands which should be everybody <laughs> next is actually a really cute little kit from the body shop you can get a three-piece set which is a nail file lip butter and hand cream and they come in coconut mango and strawberry fla flavors they're not really you're not supposed to eat them man they're not flavors they're scents <laughs> I'm being a dork, as usual. Uh, you can pick these up at Ulta for $10. If you want to pick up another kind of hand product, Ulta has some really great moisturizing hand creams. They have one in coconut, and I, I don't know about you, but I really love the smell of coconut. It's a nice light, but also very moisturizing hand cream. You can get one for $9, but I think right now they're having a sale where you can get a two for one special so might as well try that. For someone who is conscientious about having germs on their hands, hand sanitizers my friends, hand sanitizers. Bath and Body Works always has special deals on their hand sanitizers. They're a little strong in fragrance but I like them because um, you know if you're out and about and you forget to put on perfume or I don't know you got some BO, you could use these. <laughs> I'm not I'm not admitting anything here. I plead the fifth. But anyway, they've got holiday scented stuff and they usually have a special deal. You can get a five pack for eight dollars. Otherwise they're about two dollars a piece. Um and they've got like their crisp morning air and flannel and pumpkin cupcakes. So they're always fun to just check out and I mean, everybody needs hand sanitizer these days, right? Moving on, I'm kind of doing this in a weird order here, but another bath product that is really great is for the feet. People need to take care of their feet. And what better way to do that than with some sort of foot file system? <laughs> and that sounds really weird. Sounds like I am talking about like a filing cabinet and you're filing your feet away, but it's actually, you know, like, screw you know, it's buffing your feet so they're nice and soft and you slough off all the dead skin. Amazon has a really good deal on this three-piece set for $7 from the BTYMS store. So that might be something that you could look into as a stocking stuffer as well. Because everybody wants to have nice feet. At least I hope so. Maybe trolls don't, but I mean, unless you know a troll... Another product that I absolutely love, and I love that it actually comes in a smaller size, are the OGX Biotin and Collagen Conditioner. Now with my hair, I actually don't use this in the shower, but I use it as a leave-in conditioner. When I get out of the shower, I'll just apply it to my ends and just kind of moisturize that in. I use the littlest amount, and it helps me, especially when I had bleached hair, and you can tell how 
dark my natural hair color is you know bleached hair it can be very very dry so this is really helpful for that and I really like the scent this is something that I enjoy using and I think others would too I think this would be a great stocking stuffer or you can get the full size whatever floats your boat the full size ones are nine dollars whereas these ones are like two or three dollars something like that which you can find in like the travel section but it's up to you okay this next item is a ride or die for me it is my hands down favorite dry shampoo and it's the one from dove there's a lot of brands who are very popular with their uh, dry shampoo formula, but Dove is my favorite. This one is called the Dove Between Washes Dry Shampoo, and it is seven to eight dollars depending on where you go. You can also get the Batiste one, and it comes in different colors and scents, and they come in the mini versions as well. But this one I like the most. This one is also a throwback. Remember Calgon Take Me Away, the Hawaiian ginger scent? Yeah, that was really popular when I was in high school and in middle school. Like, all the girls wore it. I didn't, but I liked the smell, and I think this would be fun for anyone who has this nostalgia, who loves that scent. It would just be a nice thing to just pop into a stocking. Say, hey, you want to smell like you're on vacation? Here's some Hawaiian ginger from Calgon. Take me away. A full-size bottle is $8. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Walmart, at drugstores, etc. Now, for the person who loves their bubble baths, which I'm on that list, Soap and Glory is available at Walgreens and a couple of other stores and they carry this body wash and bubble bath combo and it's a mango mandarin scent and I love mango mandarin it's one of my favorite scents of all time I wish Bath and Body Works would reprise that scent but I digress you can get a full-size bubble bath for ten dollars I say that's a win so for those who like to do their makeup and their hair gets in the way headbands like the one I'm wearing today is a great option I like this particular one. It has this like the silicone comb instead of plastic. Plastic scratches my scalp and it's uncomfortable, whereas the silicone actually holds my hair in place, which is a godsend. Uh, so this I actually got at Ulta, and the brand is called Riviera Hairology. I got a little pack for ten dollars, so that would be fun. I like just how simple it looks. It just you know it keeps my hair back. It's perfect for when I'm you know putting a mask on, I'm washing my face, I'm putting on makeup, you name it. Headbands are amazing. All right, we're going into the bonus products here, the funky little things that aren't quite beauty or makeup related, but they're still fun nonetheless. Now, if you go into the value section at Target, depending on your store, but the ones I've been to have these fuzzy little socks and I love them. Every time I'm at Target, I go by and I'm like, they still have those socks. So I grab a couple more. And what's amazing about them is they're only a dollar a pair. They come in different colors and patterns and they even have them for men and kids. And they're so soft and fuzzy. They aren't like the highest quality sock that you're gonna find. They're a little bit thinner, but I mean, they're fuzzy, they're, they're only a dollar. I think that would be really fun. I love getting funky socks. I think these kinds of socks are so fun to get in a stocking or just in general. I tell my family, hey, if you wanna get me a present, get me fuzzy, fun, warm socks. I know I'm so boring, like not a kid anymore. That's like adulting to the nth degree, right? <laughs> this one also probably seems a little weird, but I think it might be an interesting little stocking stuffer. Now, some people are trying to shift away from traditional deodorants. Yep, I said deodorants and move to all natural versions. But a lot of people have sensitivity to all natural versions because it leaves a rash, whatever. And I'm one of those people. I have to be really careful. However, I found this particular brand and they come in mini samples and this one's pretty popular. It's native. They have two scents available at Target. They've got the coconut vanilla one, which is my favorite. And then they've got this cucumber mint. I don't know if this is something that you would maybe buy for a stocking stuffer but if you're interested they sell for three dollars a piece or you can get the full size I mean it's up to you the full size one I think is twelve dollars so you can always give someone a sample or two to see if they like it and um, yeah they all smell nice too I am so sad I forgot this downstairs and I really don't want to go downstairs right now so I'm being lazy I'll show you a picture instead this is the lily brush I've had this for years and Lily Brush actually makes a lot of brushes for pet hair. This particular one is Save the Sweaters. So you use it to brush 
pet hair off or you can use it on sweaters and on anything that is prone to pilling you know those little little fuzz balls that get on your socks and your pants and shirts like under the arms wherever it rubs together this brush works really well to help remove those without destroying your clothing now if you have one of those little shavers that works amazingly but this brush is so nice it works really well to just remove cat hair pet hair, you name it, hair. You can find them on Amazon. Now this particular brush is actually a little bit above $10. It's 12, but I say it's worth it because I've used it for years and I really love how easy it is to get that pet hair off. And it's eco-friendly in that you're not using those lint rollers and throwing away all those little sheets of sticky paper. So it saves paper, it saves the planet, and it saves your sweaters. <laughs> All right, and the final thing, which is also kind of a fun product, is this Connoisseur's Jewelry Cleaner, and it's $5 at Target. For anyone who wears jewelry, which is a lot of people, this helps restore luster and shine and get gets rid of little water stains, you name it, on jewelry. So I figure this is a nice practical gift to give to someone who wears jewelry who might not otherwise think to buy jewelry cleaner. So there we go, that's it. That's all that I have on this list of amazing little stocking stuffer ideas. So I hope this was helpful in giving you some ideas on things that you can buy for your loved ones. And if it gave you an idea, let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh wait, I almost forgot. It's giveaway time. So I have a fun little treat for you. This whole baggie, no, you don't get to win the whole bag. But I have a ton of stuff in here. Palettes, eyeliners, nail polish, you name it. So you have a chance to win five items from this bag. How that works is I would like you to comment below with five numbers ranging from one through 35. So you pick any five numbers you want within that range. And when it comes time for me to draw the winners, I will go to my little spreadsheet that has all of these items listed out and you will win whatever items coincide with the numbers you chose. So for example, let's say you chose number two and this is number two on that list, you won the eyeliner. So that's how that will work. Yeah, leave me that comment below with the five numbers and then also let me know if you have any suggestions on items that you would like to see in a stocking for $10 or less or, I mean, yeah, we all want that Tiffany's ring, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video and giveaway and yeah, be sure to click that subscribe button. All the rules for the giveaway will be listed below in the description box. Be sure to read them. You have to be subscribed and you can enter to win any of the giveaways. They close on Christmas Day at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will choose the winners on December 26th. That's it for this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay happy, and stay electric as always. Mwah. Bye!